Car dealers have almost normal inventory again, but in some areas, you'd never know it because some dealers have taken to hiding cars. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. As Kelly Blue Book reports, inventories are about where the normal level was. While every report we see lends more credibility to the fact that dealer inventory levels are returning to normal, we are still receiving viewer comments from around the country saying, there are no cars on our dealer lots. True, but there's an explanation and a hidden strategy at play. Like this viewer commented on our recent video about inventory being up. Rob Bell writes, I drove to the Toyota dealership in Paducah, Kentucky this week, and the lot was almost empty. Par for the course for Toyota there, sure. Rob. The Chevy lot in Paducah had mostly used cars. The Jeep Dodge lot was mostly full of new vehicles. Chevrolet in Mayfield, Kentucky had a lot full of new vehicles. Several used car lots seemed to be full. That's good feedback from Rob, and way to go on the road and do a little homework. But there's a fake story going on here, too, that everyone should be aware of. Car buyers in many markets are simply being played. It's not hard to understand why dealers would do this. Dealers made so much money off desperate customers during the pandemic that they are actually engaging in a continuation strategy of the appearance of a shortage. Like this consumer reported on his channel called The F-Spot, tons of cars are being hidden from public view. Here's a picture of Van Nuys Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram located at 6110 Van Nuys Boulevard in California. The lot looks like a mix of new and used with new options at a minimum. But the F-Spot gentleman, who we understand goes by Gordon, didn't accept the charade. He just went out on an investigative mission discovering hundreds of cars hidden in a parking ramp, all labeled <laughs> with the Sunny Van Nuys logo. Way to go, Gordon. Yeah. This is something that we recommend all of you do in your area and send us the video footage. We'll help you out the fakers just like Gordon did. If your local dealer looks like they have skeleton inventory seen here, make a mental note to never visit there in the future, even after their money runs dry and cars start showing up on their lot. They don't deserve your business after engaging in such an extravagant and orchestrated deception. If dealers in your area have an empty lot, we would challenge you to do like Gordon did and investigate area parking lots for cars being hidden by the dealership. When you find it, shoot video of those cars showing us where you're at and send it over. We'll share it with our viewers to help expose their game. And for Van Nuys in California, buyers in that area, do not support that dealership. Don't go there. Don't buy a car from them. They're just playing games. In particular, if you go out and do a little investigative work like Gordon did, look for parking ramps and vacant parking garages because they are excellent places to hide tons of cars. Yeah. Abandoned malls are another great place to look too. In some cases, a dealer will actually have hundreds of a given vehicle in their inventory, but just one or two sitting out in their lot in the sh or in the showroom for customers to see. This is a form of live theater tactics being deployed by car dealers and savvy customers with footage of those hidden inventory lots is cropping up everywhere. They lie about everything else, so why not lie about inventory too? Right. The game is very real, friends. But yet, the day is coming soon where the charade, the head bobs, fakes, and winks will have to come to an end. It's pretty simple as to why, and it has to do with dealer floor plan financing, the money dealers use to buy and hide these new cars. It's a house of cards that's set to crumble. In recent days, headlines like this one from Automotive News have been popping up, and it reads, Capital One exits floor plan lending business. The banking giant decided to exit floor plan lending on March 29th, but says it will stay in the auto finance business. Capital One has decided to terminate its auto dealer services business, offering floor plan lending. A Capital One spokesperson told Automotive News in a written statement, we will be winding down that work this year. Winding down, I'd say more like pulling out the rug. Yeah. And what does a move like this mean for car buyers? As the money dries up, it will bring a lot of great opportunities as dealers try to offload the inventory they've been hiding. Capital One continued by saying, this has no impact on the Capital One auto finance business. Our auto business remains well positioned to support our dealer partners and customers through these market cycles as we have throughout our bank's history. This is an important issue to understand because Capital One on its website said the dealer services business was dedicated to new franchise car dealers with floor plan needs of $5 million to more than $100 million. Bucks. Wow. That's money for a lot of excess inventory. The bank has more than 25 years of experience in the automotive industry and lists floor plan monitoring and tracking software among its dealer services products. 
well, just not anymore after this year. Yeah. Floor planning has been a resource of free money and an extra profit center for dealers for some time now. In 2010, NADA said the average dealership made $2,355 in floor planning. Five years later, the figure was a whopping $109,497. That's a mind-blowing change. Right. As rates rose in 2018, floor planning flipped with an average dealership cost of 55164 The following year, the cost rose to an average of 82979 When rates were slashed during the pandemic, floor planning once again became a profit item. In 2020, dealerships made an average profit of $108,395. That was the final year NADA reported the data. I guess we could assume they really don't want us to know the truth right now. That's right. But the truth is that in many areas of the country, improved supply is driving prices down. And as we move forward, the evidence of this will become more widespread. While that may not be the case near you because your dealerships are playing the hidden inventory game, well, just broaden your search outside your area. Let them get stuck with their hidden cars. Charlie Chesbro, Cox Automotive senior economist, said, During March, we saw sales surpass the 1 million mark for a 30-day period for the first time since early September 2021. Higher sales have been boosted in part by improving inventory, which has been running at around 1.8 million or so for the past several weeks. As a result of improving supply, data shows that the average new vehicle listing price, the asking price, fell weekly through March to below $47,000 for the first time since December. With some brands and segments nearing too high levels of inventories, we are seeing discounts and incentives increase, said Chesbro. We are beginning to see more incentives, particularly leasing deals, crop up. Yes, lease deals, because they are wanting to steer people away from buying. They love those lease returns that come back in three years. More in a moment after this message from our very own Mary Jo. Hello, I am Mary Jo from the Homework Guy team. Don't Kevin and Elizabeth do a great job? We are so proud of every show our team puts out, carefully researched for accuracy and designed to help car buyers just like you. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell so you get notifications about coming shows. Thank you for listening. And by the way, if you haven't already noticed, check out the light pattern on our ceiling. Pretty cool, huh? According to KBB, it is true that some brands still have limited supply. Foreign brands still have the lowest inventories. The highest inventories were a mix of domestic brands dominated by Stellantis' brands and a mix of luxury makes. Non-luxury brands with the lowest inventory were Toyota and Kia, under 30 days supply, followed by Honda, Subaru, Hyundai, Volkswagen, and Chevrolet, all with below industry average supply. Luxury brands at the low end were Lexus, with under 30 days supply, followed by BMW and Land Rover. Non-luxury brands with the highest inventory were mostly Stellantis brands, with four among the top for supply. Ram was the highest, with 119 days supply, followed by Jeep and Chrysler. Luxury brands with the highest inventory were Buick at 117 days supply, followed by Jaguar and Infiniti. Aside from low volume, high performance cars, vehicles that are often popular with budget minded Americans, subcompact cars, compact cars, and midsize had the lowest supply, followed by minivans and compact and subcompact SUVs. Some of the popular models are still in thin supply, making it hard to find a discounted one. Of the 30 best sellers for the 30 days that ended March 27th, the Kia Telluride, Subaru Crosstrek, Toyota RAV4, Toyota Camry, and Subaru Forester all had under 30-day supply. If you're in the market for a truck, truck buyers face much better odds of finding a deal as truck inventories are bulging at the seams. Of the 30 best sellers for the period, full-size pickup trucks from the Detroit 3 had the biggest supply. The Ram 1500 had 102 days supply, Ford's F-150 and Chevy Silverado had a day supply between 80 and 90 days. Hopefully today's show added to your optimism that a better car deal for all car shoppers is waiting just around the corner. If you can wait, you definitely should. We've maintained for months that the best indicator that the overall market is repairing itself is the growth of new car inventory. And as of right now, we're on track to hit the 2 million mark that we predicted for June. As you can see, with all the excitement coming over the announcement of an all-new car buying opportunity for a hassle-free way of buying cars, featured on this show, three major reasons to wait until after June 2023 to buy a new car. You should subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on future THD announcements. If you'd like to be on the list to be notified when our new car buying process goes live, email us at the contact email listed here or text to this number 701-441-3399. And since we are putting that database together right now after thousands of positive responses from interested viewers, 
Please include in your email or text your first name, the state you're in for strategic geographic reasons, and the brand and model of car you're interested in. If you already messaged us, we will message you back requesting this information. So don't worry about it if you already contacted us. There's a lot that goes into making something this big take off with as few hiccups as possible. And you telling us a brand of car and what state you're in will go into our strategic plan for states and car types to open with first. All right, friends, if you're new here at the Homer Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on the announcements of our new car buying process. Join our fast growing group of subscribers and become a part of our YouTube family. Friends, we are onboarding new subscribers at a very rapid pace right now as a result of an overwhelming positive response to our announcement of a soon to be here new car buyers hassle free way of car shopping. Text or email to get on the list to be notified when it goes live. If you're one of the newest subscribers, welcome. Also, thanks to our many faithful followers for coming back and to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We gotta, gotta go. go.